this has been on an absolute another level in terms of like hiking and mountains and scenery and just all stuff like that the stuff that you want to get out of a trail never witnessed stop like it in my life Although we're now heading back to that sign because I just went wrong bloody way. Now then people, good morning. Well, it's not quite as sunny today. It's a little bit cloudy, but there's plenty of time for it to brighten up. To be honest, I'm happy with it not being as warm. It means we can get some good mileage down without sweating like a bastard. I'm currently pitched up in the Bonfus Duos 2P. So there is technically only two stages of this trail left. So I shouldn't be long now before we wrap it up. I'm gonna check on the map now, see where we're at, see how we're doing for mileage as well, see what we've got left to complete. We started off yesterday morning with a climb, 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 all the way up to the snow line. And then when we got to about here-ish, we got to the refuge where I had my brownie cake and my hot chocolate and I bought a can of coke as well. Less said about the can of coke, the better. And then we carried on hiking all the way down here, all the way along here to about here. And then that will be camp four. Mileage wise, we are 67 kilometers in. And I say mileage, but on my map it's in kilometres. Everything's in kilometres around here, obviously. We're in France. And then the final mileage is around 104-ish. Obviously, I have done a lot more. I've done a little variant over here, that gritters, whatever it was called. And just messing about, going to shops and finding places to pitch. You end up doing a lot more mileage. So today's plan is to do about... 10 to 12 mile and then same again tomorrow and that should more or less wrap up the trail right let's get this thing packed away boom shanker all packed away let's get out of here keep on trucking we live to fight another day leave no trace as always I don't know where all these cows went to. Oh, there they are. At least they've kept quiet all night. So I think we need to go. Hey up. Morning. Oh no, sorry. Bonjour. Bonjour. I've realised you don't actually have to say much, you just go, Bonjour. Morning. 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 Look at that winding path. Right, so we've got to get down here somehow. Work our way back onto the path. Just traverse down this rather slippy hill. I can't believe that rain last night, man. Shit. Never witnessed stop like it in my life. Biblical. Proper shitting it down. This hill is full of, I don't know what they are, but they dig them holes, look. I just woke up thinking about them flaming spicy Cheetos burgers with curly fries from Barney's on Manny Road, BFD. I don't know why, I just can't stop thinking about them. It's definitely the first thing I'll be buying when I get home. Back to the land of BFD. Right then, we're back on the road to nowhere. I've just been checking my iPhone stats. I know these are always the most accurate. So day one of the trail, I did 13.3 mile. So steady away that. Day two, 14.8. Day three, 17.9, so day three was quite a big day. That was the day where we did the Tour de Mont Blanc section. And then yesterday, 11.3. Now that was definitely the hardest day so far. 
just getting up to that highest point of the Tour de Bofferton where there was that snow, that were a challenge and half that. I don't know if you can see that, can you see that cross up there? I can never tell if it's a G-Bus cross or just one of them signs that tells you which way and how long it is to refuges. And if you don't know by now, but I'm sure you do, that's the sign we're following. Which has been consistent throughout, to be fair. A well-marked trail, starting to feel, which I suppose it's quite normal, a little bit grotty now. Basically, I just need a good shower or a good bath. So I've not had a bath or a shower since the Tuesday night before I set off early hours in the morning on the Wednesday, last Wednesday. Bearing in mind, it's now Monday. I have used my wipes and that, give myself a little wipe round with cloth and sprayed deodorant, but still. Oh. Someone's at my front door, ring doorbell. That's good to know, isn't it? Like I can do a lot about that. Hello? Hello? Who's that? Hello? Who are you? Hi guys, it's me! What are you doing? I'm just coming into your house. Coming into my house, why? Uh, right, I'm just um, on trail, I'm recording and that. Alright, it's alright. It's alright, I just see my phone, we're ringing my doorbell. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Love you. Love you, bye. Oh, that looked good. Oh, we've got a sign. Alright then. That was my sister, by the way, going round to my house to get some work stuff. Ring, in, ring doorbell. So these are refuge 15 minutes away. Refuge de la Quire. Qua, qua. Not a point seven kilometers away. We're still at 2,155 meters at Leva Chalaliere. Savoy, Savoir. Yeah. Also, oh, refuge de Preset. That's why I had that cake and that up brown there. Eh? That was three hours and 25 minutes away. Jeez. We'll do well to avoid rain today, I think. Looking a little bit murky. Hashtag murky 2024. I've not had to don the waterproofs yet. It's not really something I wouldn't be hiking in, but needs must if it does start to rain, then I'm definitely prepared. Right, we're a Jeebus cross. So that's us. Tour de Buffeton. I think it's that pink one. A lot of trekking to do yet. This next stop, although we won't be stopping, will be Refuge de Ekondu, Lekondu, 45 minutes. Tour de Bofferton. Yes, people, welcome back to another video. Sorry, I'm just practicing my intros. You know how it is. This stuff is really slippy. All that rain we had last night, making these paths lethal.
Not a bad view, is it? Good place to spend your night in camper. There's another one up there as well. Stunning. Just look how blue that water looks. I'll be heading down this windy path. If I needed to go to the refuge, then I'd cut across and go up there. I don't need to go to that because if not you'd be coming back this way anyway and then you go along and you see that little lake down there that's where we're heading and that is the Lac de Saint Guerin and apparently there is an epic footbridge across the lake well across a corner of the lake so we'll be checking that out remember when I said a few days ago that they don't like you camping near lakes you often find these sort of signs that's that lake that we just seen that I said were blue and then all round it Zone de bivouac, so you're not allowed to camp, no camping, 100 metres from the shores of the lake. So because there's those signs that tell you you can't camp within 100 metres from the lake, that tells me you must be fine camping everywhere else. It does say you're supposed to seek permission, but I guess they've got to say that. That's the case everywhere, innit? Unless it's like Scotland. Although we're now heading back to that sign because I just went wrong bloody way. That sign must have distracted me, even though it was pointing me in the right direction. So we need to head down this little path here. As I'm sure you'll have seen me holding this many times throughout this entire trip. It's the Katadin B3 water filter. And it's a cracking bit of kit, you know. Because you just come across a little stream or a little water source. You can just fill it up, rapid. You don't have to filter it straight away and you can just drink as you go or you can just fill your bottle up and then refill this like I do and then just sip this as you're hiking along and then hopefully you'll find another water source before you run out that's the aim of the game that's the plan what the fuck's this little hillbilly place that I'm going to some of these places look scary you know these like farms that you got to walk through and that making a murder a tackle and that. Stephen Avery's. There's loads of just little huts and sheds in mountains. I don't mean refuges. I just mean whatever this is. I guess it's a working farm. Hello. Hello. He looks like a massive dog with really short legs. Hello. Oh, they got pigs. I thought I could smell shit. What I do for a nice full English though actually. Couple of sausages, couple of bacon. I think you heard me say that. They do literally roll in their own shit, don't they? Like just head to toe in mud. Shit, I just threw my bloody thing. This is carnage. Oh, it wobbles. It wobbles, man. Shit.
frigged. So humid in this woods. Silence. What is that? The calm before the storm. Not looking great, is it? Oh dear, oh dear. This area is next level. That's not off Jurassic Park or something. A lot of rings. Pitching up round here could prove to be quite tricky because as you can see it's not looking very level it's good though, good to look at, decent scenery but in the next few hours or so I will be looking for somewhere to pitch up preferably before this storm hits I felt a few drops of rain, I can feel them now but so far it's not too bad Well, that rain started. I knew I should have stopped off at that. Whoa, nearly slipped. Well, that rain started. I knew I should have stopped off at that. Well, that rain started. I knew I should have stopped off at that last refuge. Got my son a little dessert or something. I'm not even going to bother putting my waterproof on. I'm literally hiking till I can find somewhere to pitch now. Although, as I'm sure you can see, we're just on this skinny ass little path with no flat spots around. The second I find one, I'm bagging it. It'll probably do this t-shirt good to get wet anyway. <laughs> Give it a little rinse off. Right, this is looking more promising. Shorter grass. When you get these little shelves like this, these little ledges, that's what you need. That's my trail down there. I can see a lot of cows down there, and I can see a lot of cow shit up here. I think I'm gonna go off the trail, head that way a little bit, see if we can find a pitch. We always find a pitch, eventually. A little longer than a few minutes later. <sighs> we always find a pitch. Not found one yet. There's just a lot of cow shit and a lot of these bushes, not bushes, whatever they are, but there's no flat grass patches. So I think we're going to have to go right down to the bottom of that valley where all the cows are, start heading back up that mountain there, see if we can find anywhere. Just perched on a little shelf or something. How'd you get through these like?
Okay. Fuck me. Quite scary that. See that one shitting? Raining or not, that is a view and a half. Bieber. Justin Bieber. Bieber Boris. I'm going to use this as an opportunity to fill all my bottles fully load up on water so that I'm not going to go short for tonight and then I've got plenty for tomorrow when I start hiking because you never know when you're going to find the next water source Well that's what happens when you persevere and you continue This area is looking much more promising In fact I might have even found my spot right now Look at the views man, shit. So on map it says there's a lake around this corner. We're not allowed to camp near lakes, but we're literally in the middle of nowhere, so no one's gonna know, no one's gonna notice. And I might even be 100 meters away from it by the time I've found a good spot. That's the lake over there. And then there's this here. Definitely a popular spot because I've just spotted a little fire pit which is not nice to see really, but it is what it is. <laughs> Fucked. Absolutely shattered turd. I don't know why I'm taking my shoes off. Gotta put my tent up yet. Oh, so nice. There we are, all pitched up in the Bonfus Duos 2P. Really pleased with this pitch. It's a perfectly flat ground. The only dodgy bit is I can't put this guy line in. So I've just wrapped it round my peg and then just put a rock in front of it. It should be all right. You shouldn't really do that if there's gonna be high winds. Cause obviously the rock can move. But also the abrasion against the rock can weaken the guy line and it'll eventually snap and then same again when I've pegged the doors out I've had to put a rock on it this side's chilling keep that closed I think what I'll do is just open both doors at this side and then just chill with this view 
looking over them mountains. It's actually brightened up now after that shocking rain earlier. So I'm gonna get the pack. Oh, we're gonna say I'm gonna get the pack inside the tent, but I might as well use my solar for a bit, make most of this sun, get it out on there, let everything dry out. Unless these flies start arriving in sheer numbers, then I'll be hiding inside the tent. In fact, I am gonna put these side guy lines in as well, just in case. I don't have to tighten them that much, but it's just an extra little safety net. Pin me to ground. Has anyone ever had this happen to an eastern peg? So I've been using these for quite a while. The ends come off. It's in my peg bag, I've not lost it. But yeah, we're pulling it out of the ground. Just straight popped off. If that's happened to any of you lot, let me know. Or if there's any way of fixing it, let me know. I'm thinking I might just hammer it back on and then like squeeze it a little bit with some pliers or something. I don't know, just to try shape it so that it's stuck on there, I don't know. I even put some glue on it or something. See if that'd work. The peg wasn't even stuck in the ground either. I just pulled it with the little loop that's on end and it just popped straight off. Whoa, wonky donkey. Straight in your pole up, son. There. Oh shit, forgot about that. Whoa, what was the hell was that? Shit. Should be all right, man. Should be all right. John Lennon flying about. I didn't know beetles could fly. Well, these ones can. Sort of reminds me of Snowdonia. This little area I'm in. Right then, let's test this out. It's time for Firepot to prove to me again that they can make a decent dehydrated meal. Because, which one was it that I had the other day? I can't remember, but it was shit. So this is spicy pork noodles, tasty pork and tender broccoli in a spicy Thai inspired sauce served with rice noodles. Now it seems to have dehydrated fully. Let's give it a try. Doesn't look too bad. It 
it's all right. It's okay, if that's good enough. It'll certainly fill a hole. Whoa, that sun has just started beaming down. Let's get that solar panel back outside. Get some of this free energy. There we go, solar panels leaning on the outside of the tent. Wire comes round through the gap in the two zips and the phone's on charge. Happy days. All right, what's occurring? Let's get this kettle fired on. Oh, she's a lively one, that bloody 3000, bloody whatever it's called. Nimbus 3000. Gonna have one of these bad boys, caramel laughter. Bugger. Red hot that. Ah, shit. Lovely jubbly. Cheers. I've just noticed all them outside at Mountain. I've just gone to get my phone. Where are they? Am I tripping? Oh, they're all there, look. They deer. I can't see them. Try to zoom in on the phone. There's shit loads of them. Miles away, isn't it? They're running. How sick is that? Look how many there is, man. Oh, the goats, aren't they? Are they? Mountain goats. They're not deer. I really do think this whole area is class where I'm pitched up tonight. Right, guys. Sorry, I can't see much because that phone light is really, really bright in my eyeballs. So, I'm going to call it a night. And this could be the final night on the trail, depending on how much I get done tomorrow. But like I said, there's less than 10 miles left to go, I think, until I have completed the Tour de Beaufortin. Do you know what I'm looking forward to? I think food has just taken over my life, man. These dehydrated meals just aren't cutting it. And I'm just going to eat like an absolute king when I finish this trail and I can get a bus back to civilization. Anyway, I'll be up bright and early in the morning, ready for a nice day's hiking. So I'll see you then. Peace out in a bitch. What's happening people, good morning. Well, it has done not but shit it down all night, but it's finally stopped. So it's been a bit of a slow start this morning. I've got my old trusty map out, so I can mark my progress, which will be the final camp of the trip, camp number five. And when comparing it to the digital map, we have made it all the way around here to about Let's try to get this right. Keep going. To about here. And we're just off the path. Just near that little lake. So that is camp 
five. So with all that said and done, it's time to pack up the remainder of the crap, take down this tent, and we'll be on our way. I am gonna wear this today. I said that yesterday, but I am gonna wear it, even if it means taking it off later on. I've wore that same rab base layer every single day. Man, be stinking. So I've got a plan. When I get back to Cage, I'm gonna get the bus to Albertville. I booked onto that campsite that I did a little stealth sneaky camp at at the beginning of the trip. If you don't know, you need to watch the video before this trip started, if that makes sense. And boy, am I gonna eat. But anyway, I don't wanna think about it right now. What I'm gonna do tomorrow, I'm gonna pop down a decathlon. I think I'm gonna buy a fresh t-shirt, maybe some fresh socks. And then when I get a shower at the campsite, I can just get changed into some fresh gear, man. Because I wouldn't want to be sat next to me on that plane. No chance. Right, anyway, let's get this show on the road. Well, I guess my guy line with the rocks tricked work. Let's see how stable it was. If that was to have moved, I reckon the tent would stay up. It'd get a bit saggy baggy, but it'd stay up. Stunning morning. Once again. Clouds looking a bit grim to be fair and it's actually the first time on the entire trip that I felt a little bit chilly, you know. Definitely a senchy job. Big Bird is back in town. Time to show these Frenchies a thing or two about hiking fashion. What do you reckon? That's a good picture. Sorted. Right, let's get tent packed away. Let's get out of here. Isn't it weird that I will never ever camp at this spot again in my life? Well, I don't think I will anyway. I don't know what the chances of that would be. I'm just gonna go do a double check because I ran to get the GoPro that was doing the time lapse and I didn't check that. I've not left any pegs or out. Shouldn't do because I always count them as I'm taking them out. You can see where I was, lovely flat pitch. Sorted. I was gonna say, right, let's try find this path. But I can literally see it. We've got a bit of uphill first to tackle. And then it's pretty much downhill all the way. So I've been wondering, why is this trail not that popular? And I can only presume it is because of the Tour de Mont Blanc, because it's so close to it. But I just feel out of all the trails I've done so far, like the Cumbria way and the West Island way. This has been on an absolute another level in terms of like hiking and mountains and scenery and just all stuff like that. The stuff that you want to get out of a trail. And most importantly for me, it's been so quiet. It's been empty. Other than that day on the Tour de Mont Blanc, every other day it's just been so quiet. Like you just see hands full of people on the entire day. And that's what I want out of a trail. A bit of solitude, time to yourself. 
I actually forget, to be honest, until I see a person, I forget I'm in France sometimes. And then you see someone, bonjour. It's like, oh yeah, here we are. But yeah, I think it should be a more popular trail, to be honest. So if you are thinking of doing a bit of hiking abroad, get it boxed off, man. And you don't have to be fully self-efficient like I have been. I'm coming away with like four dehydrated meals because I had enough to rely on them the entire trip without having to go to any refuges or out. Obviously I've been to them a couple times and then I got that pizza on day two. Oh, oh man. Oh, it always comes back to food, doesn't it? So if you are thinking about doing your first hike overseas, then it's a good one to do, it really is. Whoa, holy shit, that's a drop. Then we continue up, up and up and up, for a little bit longer. Yeah, maybe this colour wasn't the best idea for the wasps or the bees or whatever they are. I think it's a wasp. Don't know if it's the same one. But I keep getting attacked. They must think, what the hell is that big yellow fucker? Let's go get him. Look at that view. That down there, that town, is actually Albertville. So I'm going to be hiking eight mile in that direction and then getting a bus back to Albertville. Can you just see top at peaks there in the sun? That looks stunning. And it does look like we're on to a good day again. Just sense the golden arches getting closer and closer. Oh boy, another stunning area that you could definitely pitch up at. Mountain views all around. Well, it's all been down, down, down. And there's only three miles left to go until I have completed the trail. I've been looking at bus times. What a pain in the ass they are, you know. There's five buses the entire day. Now one of them is at 10 to 11. It's now 10 o'clock. So I'm not gonna get that one in time because I don't want to rush. But then the next one, isn't till two o'clock. So I'm gonna be sat about waiting for three hours. So I'm hoping that that shop in Cage, 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 is open. So I can grab a few snacks before I get to Albertville. And then I am gonna, mate, they will close that McDonald's when I have finished with it. They'll have to shut shop. I'm gonna eat the lot. One of every burger, please, John. Check this out for a bit of carving, eh? Pretty good, that, if I do say so myself. Some detail gone into that. Should have my thingy on, shouldn't it? Big bird. My sent you. Right, mate.
We're nearly there. Nearly at the finish line. Well, 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 well. This is the exact spot that the bus dropped me off from Albertville to Cage. But that isn't where this trail ends or begins. I need to head back up the hill to where the cemetery was so I can get to the exact point where I started the trail. Although I have already done this walk once, but still it's got to be done. And there's a shop. And there's a shop. And there it is. So this is my official end to the Tour de Beaufortin. And I am frigged. And that shop's not even open. What is going on around here? Right, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace out in a bit.